Hi, it's Dr. BCW. Let's talk about cardiac arrest. Cardiac arrest is a life-threatening emergency recently experienced by LeBron James' son, Ronnie James. So what is cardiac arrest? It's a condition where a sudden loss of heart function prevents the heart from pumping blood throughout the body. This causes a person to suddenly gasp for air, stop breathing, or lose consciousness. When this happens, CPR or an automated external defibrillator, also known as an AED, can be life-saving by helping the heart reestablish a rhythm or heartbeat. So how do you perform CPR? The American Heart Association recommends placing two hands, one on top of the other, centered on the chest, shoulders directly over your hands, elbows locked, and performing chest compressions of at least two inches on each push at a rate of 100 compressions per minute. It's important to remember to allow the chest to return to normal after each compression. A common question is, should I try and give rescue breaths? Rescue breaths mean giving oxygen directly when someone can't breathe on their own. Yes, it is still recommended. The American Heart Association recommends rescue breathing with compressions in the event of drowning, overdose, carbon monoxide poisoning, unresponsive infants, and victims of cardiac arrest who may have been without oxygen for a prolonged period. Receiving CPR has been shown to double or even triple the survival rates for those experiencing cardiac arrest. Studies have also demonstrated that the sooner CPR is performed, the better chance someone has of surviving and experiencing fewer complications. Sadly, a recent nationwide study by the American College of Cardiology found that Black and Hispanic individuals were 41% less likely than white individuals to receive CPR when suffering cardiac arrest in public. This study also found that Blacks and Hispanics were 26% less likely to receive CPR when cardiac arrest occurred at home. If you are able to, please take the time to learn CPR. You could be giving yourself the power to save someone's life. And you never know when you may face a situation where CPR could save someone's life and who that someone might be. For more information, check out the American Heart Association training on CPR. I'll leave a link in the description. This is Dr. BCW. Thank you for watching Beyond Clinical Walls. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss my next upload. If you found this information helpful, please hit the thumbs up and leave a comment. It really helps the channel. Thank you for watching and thank you for your support.